Dan, talk to us about speaker placement. Speaker placement. Well, uh, it's, a, it's a fun subject to talk about. Uh, one of the things I love about our drivers or our speakers is that uh, they're easy to place in a room precisely because of the coax driver and the nature of a concentric uh, performance. The fact is, is that you have issues with speakers where you have to put them in a perfect little triangle and they have to be at your level between the acoustic center, the tweeter, and then they have to be beaming at you. Then you wear a head brace, like yeah, the dentist's office. Exactly, and you, know, you get stuck into this tiny little like space where there's that's the sweet spot of your room. And then you stand up and you lose high frequency information or you reach over to the side to adjust a rack. What about this? What about when I'm mixing? Because yeah. I like to get into my music. What happens yeah. when I keep dropping in and out of the sweet right. spot? Exactly. So, you know, the issue is that you get into like constrained waveguide shapes which stick you into this like you know, uniaxial plane. And again, unless you're they're beamed with the, the perfect triangle you know, meeting behind your head, you're not getting the the desired effect for like imaging, um, for stereo width, for, for any of that detail. So they are really, really wide. Like I, I joke with people all the time, like the entire room has now become your sweet spot. And think about how many times it's like the person on the couch in the back of the room is not hearing your mix the same way that you're hearing the mix. And then they go like, hey man, can you turn my guitars up? It doesn't sound loud. I'm like, it's plenty loud up here. Yeah, come sit in, come sit in my lap. Right. And so with, uh, with, with our speakers, because of the wide dispersion and you know, the fact that your room is now the sweet spot, somebody could be sitting off to your left behind you in a couch in the back of the room and they're hearing exactly the same thing that you're hearing. Yeah, so talk, talk a bit about, dress a little bit about that, about things arriving, where they should arrive, how they should arrive, since we have, our ears are here. Well, a lot of that is a function of phase. A low frequency note takes a lot longer to arrive at a space than a high frequency note. And if they don't arrive at the same time, you're going to get anomalies. Sometimes that's like, you know, a comb filtering issue. Sometimes that I mean, basically it's a, it's a phase problem. So when you control the phase linearity is super tight, especially as tight as we do within the DSP, everything arrives at the same time where it's supposed to, when it's supposed to. And additionally, because of that phase linearity, when you pan something five degrees off of the center, you're like, you can point at it, like, yep, there it is. That's exactly where I hear it. And that's exactly where everybody else hears it in the room too. Even if you happen to be on the side that is five degrees off center, you still notice that it's five degrees off center. Well, speaking of pointing, you want to talk about point source? Well, so point source is basically coaxial. Uh, that's sort of the design that we use for our speakers. Uh, what that does allow you to do is that it effectively, you, you always have a problem when you put a tweeter like certain distance away from a low frequency driver, if it's a two way or a three way, is that you still have issues with the way that those things interoperate. So with a concentric driver, you're able to do a couple things. You're able to, A, recess the driver enough physically inside of the the throat of the driver that you get some of that natural phase alignment you also then can optimize especially with what we've done you can optimize the shape the geometry of the the mid-range of the coax to be a perfect circular conical waveguide for the tweeter Again, that's how you get that wide covered a coverage angle. Um, a lot of coax drivers tend to have suffer the issue. They mostly have a protruded surround, so an overhung surround, and that tends to cause a bit of like a you know basically um, a comb you know, like suck a, out. A, yeah, the suck out basically. So ours is an underhung surround, so you get all the same benefits of a coax. It's just that you don't have that lip to like yeah. cause a suck so out. So in English, you're talking about the driver sitting here, and it usually has a thing that sticks out right. the front of the driver or around the, the right. edge, but yours is actually sticks in, in, inward. It's, it's, it's yeah. behind the, yeah. so you, you actually don't have that natural sort of reflective barrier that that uh, uh, basically that an overhung surround or create. So that's where we get to a 90 degree coverage angle. So it is literally like really, really, really wide. Yeah. It's also, I'm always dragging people at the trade shows to move 
closer, yeah. see how close they can yeah. come to the speakers before the stereo image collapses. Right. And they never go far enough. They're like, wow, that's amazing. Dude, keep going. Yeah. Really? Oh, I like to make people walk <laughs> on the side of the speakers too. Like, it's like, walk over there and tell me, you know, where, where you start to lose things. And people are almost never raised <laughs> until they're like way out of field. Yeah, and then they're so. gone. You're like, wait, I yeah, need yeah, you to yeah. come back and buy these. Come, come back here. <laughs> <laughs> right on. So, so what you're talking about with the point sources, you've got high frequency, mid-range frequency, and normally they're doing this or this, right? right? And you want them to do this. Yes, yeah. yeah, cool. So, and, and the result of that is in addition to the coverage angle, you know, having that wide dispersion and the, the wide sweet spot, you also have far better control over transient response at that point too, because again, you don't have the, the sizzle of a top hat arriving like later than the stick, the sound, or later than, you know, some other aspect of the music. So you get all of that information quickly and and you know to the point you can hear it accurately. So you know when you make a position change or you make an EQ adjustment that you're not dealing with some sort of like like phase issues, right. some sort of transient response. It's all like right there. So in regarding what we started talking about, speaker placement. You're saying it's easier to place the speakers. Right. Well, I, I generally tell people when I'm talking to them and they ask that question about speaker placement, they're like, you know, where should I put the tweeter? You know, do I need it to be at my ear? Do you know, do I need to make this triangle like placement? And my answer to that is generally no. You know, it's because of the coverage, you know, the, the, the conical dispersion of the speaker. I tell people, you know, and sometimes people are like, can I put them upright or put them on their side? They're like, you can do both. And, you know, I joke with people, if you can, I tell them, if you can figure out how to mount them at a 45 degree angle, they will sound effectively sure. the same as if they were upright or on their side. Uh, the only real caveat to that is if your room's small enough and you put them on their side, you might create like a boundary interference just from proximity, but there's switches on the back of the speaker that can help you adjust for that. But that would be the only caveat to like, maybe your low frequency might sound a little different versus vertical to on their side. But as I said, there's there's ways to mitigate that uh, in a large enough room that is not an issue. But yeah, that's the point. Is you don't have to do the, the they, they be towed in and where they, 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 they create the triangle behind your head. Like we actually in the manual suggest no more than a 15 degree toe in. And that's basically because they are so wide in, the, in, in, in their dispersion that you don't need them to be in some perfect triangle. So that makes them easier to place in room. So. Brilliant, easier for people, that's good. Cool. 